Hey there, Packers fan. Are you ready for this game against the Vikings? This matchup is going to be intense. We've already got two wins this season, and now we're facing an undefeated division rival. And you know what that means? It's our chance to show that this Packers team is ready to compete at the top. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this matchup, from how to stop Justin Jefferson to how our offense can make a difference. Stick with me until the end, because this game promises to be crucial. Go Pack Go! You've seen what Justin Jefferson can do, right? He's simply one of the most dangerous receivers in the NFL. When he catches the ball, he can run the entire field and cause havoc, especially when he goes over 100 yards. The thing is, when he manages to do that against the Packers, things usually get complicated for us. That's where Jer Alexander comes into play. He's already proven he can bounce back after tough games, and now he has a big responsibility on his shoulders to contain Jefferson and not let him dominate the field. We know that Jefferson will make some receptions, but the trick is to prevent him from making those huge plays that change the entire game. If we can keep him under control, it will give our defense a great advantage. Jeff Halfley, our defensive coordinator, will have to mix up the coverages using both man-to-man -man and zone schemes to confuse the Vikings' offense and make life difficult for Jefferson. The important thing is to not let him feel comfortable, because if he gets going, it's going to be hard to stop him. Additionally, the duel between Jefferson and Alexander will be a show in itself, worthy of every minute of attention. If our defense can contain Jefferson, we can focus on other key points of the game. But the battle in the trenches will also be crucial, especially when it comes to controlling the middle of the defensive line. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about next. Now let's talk about a part that can make all the difference in this game, our defensive line in the middle. Kenny Clark and Devontae Wyatt are crucial here, and they have everything to excel against the interior of the Vikings' offensive line. If we can pressure Garrett Bradbury, who is struggling with an ankle injury, along with guards Ed Ingram and Blake Brandle, it will be much easier to disrupt their offense. This is Clark's time to show why he's one of the pillars of the defense. Pressure up the middle isn't just about disrupting the passing game. It's also about stopping their running game. This is where TJ Slayton comes in, especially on running plays. If we can lock down this area, we can force the Vikings to rely more on passing plays, which puts our team at an advantage. And since we know that Bradbury isn't 100%, this could be the perfect opening for us to control the game in the trenches. Of course, holding the middle will help the entire defense function better making our team more prepared to face the versatile Vikings offense. But it's pointless to pressure and stop their running game if we can't protect our own quarterback. And that will be the next big challenge on Sunday. Now, when we talk about protecting the quarterback, it doesn't matter if it's Jordan Love or Malik Willis playing. The important thing is that the offensive line does an impeccable job. The Vikings defense may not have a single superstar in pass rush, but they're very good at pressuring the QB as a group. They lead the league in sacks, and if we leave Love or Willis exposed, things can get ugly real quick. Zach Tom and Rashid Walker, our tackles, will need to be sharp to hold off the Vikings' top pass rushers, like Pat Jones and Jonathan Greenett. If Willis is the starter, he'll need all the help he can get to handle Brian Flores' complicated blitzes. But if it's Love, the situation won't be easy either, as he may still not be 100% after injuries. That means blocking needs to be solid all the time, not just to give time for passes, but also to avoid losing rhythm due to penalties or sacks. And we can't forget, protecting the quarterback goes beyond the offensive line. The running backs and tight ends can also help with blocking. The more time we give our QB, the better our chances of hitting deep passes and creating explosive plays. Speaking of which, another guy who can make a difference in explosive plays, but on the other side, is Aaron Jones, and he needs to be contained. Aaron Jones, a former Packer and now part of the Vikings offense, is one of the players who will come into this game with fire in his eyes. He made history here in Green Bay, so you can imagine how motivated he is to prove himself against the team that helped him shine. Jones has always been one of the most dangerous running backs in the league, and if he has room to run, it's going to complicate our defense. Stopping the running game will be essential, and Kenny Clark and Devontae Wyatt as we mentioned before, need to be at the top of their game to close those gaps. The problem with Jones is that he doesn't need much to make big plays. 
Even when the defense closes the holes, he can cut and find a way to gain yards. So, the Packers need to be alert on every play because he's the type of player who can change the game in the blink of an eye. If we can force the Vikings to abandon the running game and rely more on Sam Darnold, we'll be in a much better position. And that's where our strategy to pressure the quarterback comes into play. If we can contain Jones and force the Vikings to throw the ball more, the next step will be to put pressure on Darnold. And believe me, that's where we can make him make mistakes. Now that we've talked about containing the running game, let's focus on pressuring Sam Darnold. He's been playing very well so far, but we all know that when Darnold is under pressure, he has a history of making mistakes. If our defensive line, which had eight sacks last week, can apply constant pressure, we'll force him to make rush throws and maybe even generate some turnovers. And if the defense continues forcing turnovers like it has been, it will give our offense even more chances to shine. Darnold can be dangerous when he has time to think and throw, but our defense has already proven it knows how to disrupt opposing quarterbacks. The Vikings' offensive line has been solid, but it has given up some sacks in recent weeks. That means if we maintain high pressure, we can find gaps and put Darnold in uncomfortable situations. And that's when he starts to make mistakes. But we can't underestimate the Vikings' defensive schemes. They love to confuse opponents with well-coordinated blitzes, and this will be a real test for our offense. Matt LaFleur and Jordan Love will need to decode Brian Flores' defensive plays to neutralize their pass rush. It will be a chess battle between the two, and if we win this battle, we'll be much closer to victory. Now that we've analyzed all the key points of this matchup, it's clear that the showdown against the Vikings will be a true test for our team. Every detail can make a difference, and the pressure is high. The defense needs to be solid, dominating the offensive line, and ensuring that Justin Jefferson doesn't have room to shine. If Kenny Clark and the rest of the defensive line stand out by keeping the pressure on Sam Darnold and neutralizing Aaron Jones, we'll have a good chance to control the game from the start. On the other hand, our offense also needs to show efficiency. Protecting the quarterback is essential especially against the Vikings' aggressive blitz style. If Jordan Love or Malik Willis can get time to think and find their passing options, we can create explosive plays and put points on the board. Every point is valuable, and we need to maximize all the opportunities we get. The key will be the team's ability to adapt to the game's circumstances. Staying calm under pressure, adjusting strategies, and capitalizing on pivotal moments will be crucial for securing the win. Therefore, the outcome of this game can not only impact our standings, but also set the tone for the rest of the season. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think will be the decisive point that determines the winner? The defense shining or our offense finding the right rhythm? Leave your comment below. I'm curious to know what you think about this matchup.